Hey guys, it's Andrew here from Simo Apps and in this tutorial we're going to look at how you can log into Firebase with an email address and password and also how you can sign up a new user to Firebase with an email address and password. So let's get into the coding. Okay, so we're going to follow the Firebase documentation on setting up the iOS login and account creation with an email. So first of all, we need to set up CocoaPods. So we've already got our project file set up here in FB login. So open up a terminal to that location and type in pod in it. And that's going to create our CocoaPods file here. Then open up that pod file with your favorite text editor. And then what we need to do is copy this pod Firebase off. Then simply add it to our pod file. Save that. Head on over back to our terminal and type in pod install to actually set up our Cocoa Pods Firebase authentication. Then once that's set up, we'll head into our app and set it up. Okay, so we've got our app set up now, but before we do that, we need to set up a project in Firebase. So head on over to the Firebase console and then create a new project. So go to add project, fill out all the settings here, and then that's going to let you download a project configuration JSON file. I'm going to go to one of my existing projects and load up the same screen you will see once you've created your project. So you're going to see this here. So the iOS bundle ID will mean, need to be the same as your project's bundle identifier in order for it to work. Once you've got that, download the Google service info.plist file. And we're going to add that to our project. Okay, so we're in our project. We've got our Google service info plist file. So drag, drop it into here. Hit copy items if needed, and then let that copy in here. And then we're going to follow the rest of the steps in the Firebase console. So first of all, in our UI application delegate, we need to go import Firebase. And then in application did finish launch with options, we need to do firebase.configure to set it, set it up. So that's firebase app.configure. Now that we've got that set up, head on over to our main.storyboard and we're going to set up the UI to be able to log in and also create an account as an example. So in our object explorer, we're going to drag on the button, copy that, make a second one. We'll name the first one, login, the second one, create account. Then we're going to need a new few text fields. So this one's going to be for the user's email. This one here will be for the password. Next up, find the label. Drag that on. So first one's gonna be email. Next one down here will be password. Then we're going to, then we're going to create one called status down the bottom. And we'll change the width of that to take up the whole screen. Then with this view controller, go to the assistant editor. We're going to connect up email up here as an outlet. We'll name it txt email. Do the same for password. txt password. Do the same for status and we'll do LVL status. And finally, we're going to connect up the two buttons to two separate actions. So the first one is going to be login. So create an action called login. Next one is going to be create account. So connect that up and name it create account. Now that's connected up to our view controller. Before we go into the coding, in our storyboard, we want to select password. Then on the right hand side, under the attribute inspector, we want to select secure text entry. So this will make sure that the password isn't actually displayed to our users. And you can also set the content type 
to password. All right, now that that's set up, let's get into the coding now view controller. If we go back to the Firebase setup, there's a few lines of code we need here. First one is create user here. So copy this in into create account. This is going to create a new user with an email, email, and a password, password. So we are going to do let email equals txt email dot text exclamation mark and then let password equals txt password dot text exclamation mark. Then in here, we go to check if there's an error. So if the error is not empty, so not equal to nil, we'll do self dot label status dot text equals error. And we'll print out the, the error to the console then return. And also up the top here, we need to add imports Firebase under import UI kit while I'm at it. Um, and then that will get rid of this unresolved identifier auth error we have here. Okay, and then if we're able to create a user, we're simply going to set the self dot label status dot text to user created exclamation mark. Okay, so that's for creating account. For logging in, keep on scrolling down and we'll see have we'll see we have this auth sign in one here. So copy that out. And in here, we're going to do a similar thing. So if error not equal to nil, we need to use this strong self to set the label because it's using a weak reference. So we'll do strong self dot label status dot text equals error check username and password. Print out the error to the console and return. Finally, if we're able to log in successfully, we'll do strong cell dot label status dot text equals login success for email. And then we're going to copy this let's email and let's password to so get the email and password from the text fields. And in the login successful email, we'll do backslash, then we'll put email in curly brackets to actually print out the email to the app. So this is how you set up creating an account and logging in with Firebase and Swift. So let's run the app, check it out, and then we'll check out a few other features such as account verification and email templates. So in email, we are going to create an account. So we'll do test at an email.com password we'll just do password let's hit create account look the status changed to user created now if we log in with that same account logging is success for email test at an email.com now if i put in the wrong password let's hit login it got an error it's telling me to check the username and password I do a different email and try to log in. Get the same error. If I hit create account for that new email address, it creates an account. If I try and create the account again for the same email address, it gets an error because we can't create the account twice. So that's how you set up email and password login with Firebase. Now, you will probably want to actually put in a check to see if their email is valid or not. So what you can do in the Firebase documentation here, in Manage Users with Firebase, there is various actions you can do on a user's profile. The one you want here is send user a verification email. So if you do auth.auth.currentuser, then .send email verification, that's going to actually send an email to their account to verify the actual user. And you can actually check that in the app as well if they verify the email with auth.auth.currentsuser.email is email verified. And that will return a boolean 
if the email is actually verified for that user. So you can actually check that. And then that way, if you want to, you can force them to verify the email address, or you might let them use the app for a bit with reduced functionality until a user actually verifies their email address. Now we're in the Firebase console for my app. And if we go to develop authentication, then we head over onto the templates option. We can actually see the email templates here. So for email address verification, that I was just mentioning, the subject will be verify your email for project, blah, blah, blah. Be hello display name. Please follow this link to verify your email address. We go edit. We can edit any of this at all here. You can also change the settings for password reset, email address change, and also have SMS verification as well if you like to use that. So you can download the source code for this tutorial below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more.